Hey guys, it's Jason with Crane Creek Kennels. Hey, I appreciate you tuning in today. This video is a uh, video we shot uh, when we went down to Junior Lasters to meet uh, Mr. Paul Jeffries. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. It was just, you know, nothing formal, just a sit down and recording. Uh, two old coon hunters together uh, talking telling stories telling some pedigrees uh, just real enjoyable and uh, had the opportunity to meet Mr. Uh, Paul Jeffries uh, the guy that uh, owned and trained the Ozark Preacher's dog uh, that Mr. John Wick ended up with uh, later on in life uh, he owned him till he's about five years old so I really hope you enjoy the video if you're watching this you're not already subscribed to our channel if you don't mind Click that button down there, subscribe to us, that would really help us out. And uh, before we get started, here's a word from our sponsors. We appreciate you watching, watching the video, and remember, please subscribe. Nightlifekennel.com If you need something for your coon hunting supplies, go see my friends over at nightlifekennel.com. Uh, holler at Nick, tell him that Jason over at Crane Creek sent you, and I'm sure he can hook you up with some good deals. Nightlifekennel.com Rusty Cotton Design Company Guys, you may not be on Etsy, but your wife or girlfriend may be. Tell them to go over and check out our friends at Rusty Cotton Design Company and pick you out something there. Have you some flags made. Get you something for your house. Rusty Cotton Design Company. Sunspotlights.com What more could you say about a company that offers a lifetime warranty on a coon hunting light for a coon hunter? As rough as we are on our equipment, this has to be a good light for them to stand behind them sunspotlights.com that's where you need to be getting your next light from tell them jason at crane creek sent you guys the dog in the picture is brinkley's ozark preacher this is an ad mr john wick put out after he owned him before that mr jim brinkley owned him but what i didn't know was before that this man mr paul jeffries owned him and he owned and trained him till he was about five years old. As he come up today, and I had the opportunity to meet him, as he talked about old preacher, you could still see the, the glimmer in his eye as he talked about him. And when he received this new pup from Mr. Junior Laster. He's getting on up there in age, and I was honored to have the opportunity to meet this man, the man that trained and hunted Ozark Preacher. Down in a rural county in Missouri, Mr. Paul Jeffries, is the man that started Ozark Preacher. He told me to keep him off. This night, a tree couldn't actually treat him like that for me. And then the other night, I got him. Look at all. And then you kept him how long? Oh, he's five years old. Yeah, when you showed him to Jim? Yeah. 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 I remember the day me and Paul Horton went up to Jim's. And we, you know, Paul had bred a female or two to him uh, and stuff, you know. And we went up there and I told him, I said, Jim, I got two females out of Flying Hawk that I'd like to breed for. Flying Hawk, first, that, that's the first one you ever seen? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and I said, uh, that's the old dog that done all the show and hunt winning and all that and produced all this other stuff. But anyhow, I said, I've got two females out of flying hawk. And Paul's got one. Do you remember what year you sold him? Let's see. Uh, around 75. That's what I thought. I, okay. told some, I told somebody the other day, it's 75 or 6. Yeah. Had to be. Because them females of mine one of them was five years old. Oh, I remember when you got him. He, old hawk, I won king of the world with him down here at Green Forest in 72, 73, and 74. And you got him right after that first, that I won that first world show with him. Yeah, you did. You got him right after that. That's right. I remember that. But anyhow, and Jim said, well, he said, uh, you know, he said, I'm just, I don't really know. He said, I'm going to, you know, I, and uh, Paul, Paul Horton says, Mr. Jim, why don't you just let Junior take him to his house and breed them females? And Jim went in the house. I'm like, what the hell is he going to do? 
He went oh, he down. Oh, after a gun or something? No, he didn't. Uh -huh. he, that's what I thought he was going to do. He went in the house, and he come back out there, and he said, uh, if I send him with you, I know you'll take care of him, Junior. Do you need me to give you a bag of feed? <laughs> I said, no, Paul. I said, I believe I can buy a feed, you know. <laughs> so I told him, I promised him, you know, that I'd just take care of him like of my own. And I had a pen already set up down at Daddy's. And I took him down there, put him in that pen. We bred four females to him. <clears throat> I kept him about five weeks. We bred four females to him. And that's the start. That's the start, of that's the start of what we put together. And buddy, they's been some good. Ones. Oh, and yeah. let's go, let's go up here on the porch. And I want to, I want you, to, I want that, give you that pup. And then I want to talk some more. Pork. I wouldn't turn that dog loose if I had a hundred foot rope on him. What's the matter with you? I made him a promise, and I'm a keeping that promise. I'm taking care of that dog. The last female that I bred to him, we bred more to him after that. Yeah. But that last female I bred to him while I had him down here was out of Old Hawk and a night champion female I had out of Fender Root Chief. And uh, he said, uh, I mean, our grand, uh, Hawk granddaughter. Hawk was off of my dog. Grand, huh? Hawk was off of my dog. No, yeah. Hawk was out of a dog up in Missouri, Oak Ridge, Missouri, Buechler, that Max Harsha had that was out of old Nelson's Butch. Oh. My Mundo Jr. dog, we took a hawk, well, you are you getting this? Yes, sir. We took a hawk female. She was out of flying hawk. Her mother was a female that I had raised, uh, that, that Ray Richardson had raised and was out of Stan Saylor Jr and Ray Richardson's old Vicky female, uh -huh. the old, the old grand female. And, uh, and I took little B, we called her, to Cole McAllister's and bred her to Gold Creek Monday. Oh, that's where the Monday was. That's from. where it come in. And that, and she had three females and four males. And I had one of them pups picked out to keep. And uh, a guy come, and I won't say his name, but he was a country music. He was a big old boy, country music. And he he wanted one of them pups. And he said, well, said, we're gonna be going to Springfield, said I. So anyhow, he come, he, he, I told him where I lived, and he kinda knew. He come to the house, and I was going to hunt. And he said, I said, now I'm gonna have the collar on the pup that I'm keeping. Mm -hmm. There's three more male pups, you can pick any one you want. He went back there and looked at the pup. And Took when he got up there, he told Joanne, he said, I think he said I was supposed to get the one with the collar on. <laughs> <laughs> Mundo Jr. was second pick of the litter. Oh. If you can figure that out. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh. Paul Jeffrey, uh, this is your next Ozark preacher uh, right here. Boy, hey, man. Ain't that something? Hey, I, I already had pay. I think the pictures you said, I knew where the chart was. Yeah, but boy, ain't that thing uh, for it. Look at the head. Yeah. yeah. That, that's... Preacher, your name preacher. Yeah, that's exactly what he... I may call yeah. him Rock. Yeah, yeah. That's my... 13 year old granddaughter, Hi. and that's my grandson over there. He's 17. 18. 18 now? Oh man, he's too old. <laughs> but them is the two right there. Them is the two that can make one look and do. I, I like got, they want I to got do. To yeah, oh, they, oh, they, they will. The show, show Aubrey, them. Aubrey, Graydon is the youngest was and probably still is the youngest youth handler to ever win a major at the youth nationals. We went to Northern uh, I, Northern Ohio to the youth nationals and he showed, yeah, sit down Paul. 
and he showed a full sister older letter to this pup's mama. No, you a full brother. You sh he showed a full brother to this pup's mama a letter older and one best male a show with him. And you was how old, son? Well. And I don't think you was that old. It was in 2012. Well, I <clears throat> Cause and Grant and Grant, her brother, he showed uh, a full sister mate to the male dog, letter older, full sister to this pup mother, and he won overall show champion uh, at uh, at the youth nationals that year in Ohio. Well, goodness. Yeah, and that while we was there, we stayed, we stayed. Uh, at Russ Beller's hunting lodge up there in Indiana. That, oh, yeah. I yeah, that, a, that, we stayed up there at Russ Beller's hunting yeah, lodge. Yeah, I've been out to Russ's place there. Yeah, but, uh, but I'm just, I just, you know, I just, I, I'm, just day, so, I'm just so proud. You're a good show person. Boy, you can show them dogs. Oh, it's good. Yeah, well, I... <laughs> I'm I'm kind of proud of what I've done. I'm kind of proud of what I've done. And I remember when I first started, I found a magazine at the barber shop in Blue Eye. We couldn't hunt it, you know. We didn't even have no registered dogs. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, you know, it was a hundred red bones. That's what Dad started with. And he was born and raised in Mammoth Springs, Arkansas. And the guy went to church with him, gave him a red bone pup. And uh, and he ended up with two of them. But uh, he, uh, we moved up here, and we got to hunting with these guys around here and met Junior Biggerstaff, you know, and stuff. And then they come with this deal with single registration. Dale White, out here at Blue Eye, we called him Uncle Dale. He hunted with us and stuff, and he had an old dog, red bone dog, called Boog. And he was a great dog, too. But we bred old Queen to Booger and got bred her twice and got two litter of pups and out of that one of them that last litter come a dog named Ranger and he was something else he was a legend in this part of the country and he uh and yeah and 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 so we somebody said well you you can say with register but no I didn't know what that meant dad didn't know what that meant we just had register though but anyhow, we went to, I hunted him at a ranger at Blue Guy in that first, in 64. And uh, we headed up to the old Arkansas school building and Uncle Dale leaving paid me entry fees and a great hunt. We had more great dogs back then than we did yeah. registered dogs. And I won first place. Yeah. I, I asked him, I said, what am I supposed to do? I don't remember who it was, maybe Dwayne Flowers, Blue Tick guy. He was president of the club. He said, Junior, one old ranger barks on the coon track, you say strike ranger. And when he trees, you just tell the judge, free ranger. So I just struck ranger and treed ranger and didn't know what I was doing, and we won first place. <laughs> and that hurt me. But uh, but but I it's just it's just been good. But when we got on flying hole, yeah. we went to Avoca, Arkansas to a bank show one day, and Buell Bowerman from Asia showed up with the prettiest walker dog I ever seen in my natural born life or anybody else. He won the show. No, he didn't. He won best of breed and the blue tick beat him for best of show. But before we left down there, Dad told Buell, he said, Buell, he said, uh, if you ever get ready to sell it, Mr. Bowerman, if you ever get ready to sell it, dog, let me know. About three weeks phone me. And it was Buell. And he got a chance to buy a night champion female he'd had before. And he, he dad and better staff went to Ada and bought him. He was 18 months old and the rest of it's a history lesson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've been blessed. But that pup right there, his daddy, his grandpa, on his dad, and I'm going to walk down here and show you. Hey, Greg, get, uh, Get a leash out of the back of my truck and go down there and get Mundo out of the back of the. Uh, there's one hanging in the shop to lead him up here, the, the blank back dog down and around him. And, uh, but uh, 
his grandpa, and I know seven generations is as far as you can go, yeah. but I know what's back there. In eight generations, yeah, in eight generations, his grandpa, his grandpa had Brinkley's Ozark Preacher and Table Rock Flying Hall four times in eight generations. The old dog died uh, about six or seven months ago or something, I'm not sure. But then his mother, his mother is out of that old Cherry Creek Nip Tuck dog that I had that Scott Houston give us that let us have that I've done so much winning with and the kids have done so much winning with. And I bred Tucker to my ruby female that was a direct daughter out of South Fork, out of uh, South Fork River Jam and Monday. And I raised him and sold him to Sheldon Swinson. Monday, how long has he been gone? Well, I know it was a long time ago. Eh? Old Monday, uh, old Mondar died. Let's see, I had him. He died. Uh, probably seventeen, huh? Probably seventeen or eighteen years. Yeah. And then uh, South Fork, I got him back too before he died. But, uh, and we was living here, so it's probably been 12 or 13 years since South Fork died. But, uh, and this female is a granddaughter to South Fork. I mean, her pedigree with what we've had and what we've got and what I've been blessed <clears throat> This his That pup pedigree is a who's who. I wish, I told Joanne the other night, I said, I wish they'd make 15 generations yeah. on them, on that, right there. Well, I'll never tell it. If something happens to me, he comes back to you. Uh, well, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Bring him up here. You're fixing to see something right here. This is his dad. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a good looking dog. Ain't that a pretty thing? Oh man. <laughs> We're proud of him. We're proud of him. Boy, let me back. Boy, he's really got a good map. He's two he's two years old. I raised him. He's the he's the the la he's out of my honeycomb feeding baby that I've done so much winning with. I won Missouri two or three times and Arkansas a couple of times. He's got one of the prettiest mouths you ever heard on the dog. He don't jump, he don't flip, he don't flop. He just stands straight up that tree and just can crank it. You can hear him. It ain't been no time since some of the boys took him in there. Way back in there, but I mean way back in there probably I don't know, it's a mile and a quarter to the other road over and they probably that way. They got trees and I, I thought they treated two different places. They wasn't. He just stand on that tree and just nearly had the rest of them ground it out. Well, you know. But we're proud of him. I I tell you, I didn't think I'd ever own him. He was my pick. And then I just wasn't doing no good and I had to have that knee replacement and all that stuff, you know, and I set that staph infection up and stuff so bad. But I sold him to uh, to Jeff Long as a puppy. And, uh, and, and, I, and then Jeff, uh, when he got his back hurt, broken back or whatever he done, he, Where do you uh, live at, Jeff Long? He's a per. He he's he uh he lives north of Springfield up there, Morrisville or somewhere right up in there. Yeah, and I sold him to Jeff, and uh, and then when he got hurt, and had to get rid of him. The the situation with the little dog fine went south real. He just got with somebody, not Jeff's fault, but that wasn't taking good care of him. And then when I, the, hey Gracie, make Sam shut up. But when uh, but when he uh, when he I got him back, he it's been good ever since, you know. And the biggest baby I ever seen. That, 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 that but I tell you what, you just look boy, he looks like this. He looks oh, like his yeah. daddy. <laughs> and gonna have about the same color red. He will, yeah, be just like it. Yeah, yeah, he will. Yeah. 
Junior, I want to get away from here before these storms come in. I'll get the, out of here for tonight. And that, there's supposed to be some storms coming in. Yeah. They said changed it. Uh, it might have changed the weather. I don't know. No, it ain't. It's supposed to be some storms coming uh, I'm getting out of here before it gets <laughs> Okay. Well, I'd be fine. I just wanted, I just wanted, uh, oh, you know. Oh, I'm on, I'd like to stay busy with you. Well, I know it, but you don't need to be on the road. Not you in this storm. No, no. no. but uh, I sure appreciate you, right. and I want you to know right now. I appreciate now, you. Yeah, I know it. I want I'll you, take the best of care of you. Oh, I know. I want you to know right now that I'm one that knows if it hadn't have been for Paul Jeffries, they wouldn't be a Brinkley's Ozark preacher. Well, it's hurt. just that simple. <laughs> and, and a lot of people don't realize that, you know, but I know the story behind the story that was the story. <laughs> <laughs> Old preacher, he was something. He was, he was something. I he remember. Had he had people like that. I guarantee you. Yeah, boy, they just, he, he was, and he, that dog reminds me of him. Old preacher yeah. was stout. Was you know, stout. He, he was, right. he was stout. Yeah, was yeah. and this, everywhere you touched him was a muscle. Yeah. It sure was. But, well, youngs, youngs just go on. And uh, oh, I appreciate this and I I I I've got I've papers are sent off, but oh, you can see so, those are slow right now. No see, problem. No problem. Yeah, but but I can't wait for you to get them and get a paper. Yeah, I'm gonna get some. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, you will. Yeah. Do you? You can't see them. You don't read. Really yeah, no, I don't. Huh? No, I just uh, you know when I might should have, but uh, I can't tell you what. Me. Yeah. But I tell you what, Paul, if you do it all, you know, and my, oh, my problem is, job. well, my problem is, I, I can't help it if I see a kid that wants a pup, you know, and I know, I know, and they, they're going to get a pup, right. you know, that's all there is to it, but, uh, and right there's one up. Right there's one of them that was a recipient when he was just a when he was just a young buck. Now I can tell you, and uh, been friends ever since. His mom and dad come down there and we was talking vehicles, and all of a sudden I found out they had a boy that liked to coon hunt. It wasn't long till he had a coon dog pup. That's nice meeting all you guys. You bet. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Appreciate you. Be careful going home. I'm telling you, I'm turning him over to you from here. That's a load, boy. <laughs> we got a little straight back over the back. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, boy, you've made my day, Paul. Well, you made mine. I know. You I know. That's day, what man. it's all about, bud. Yeah. Appreciate you. I know you come back sometime. We got time. Oh, yeah. Oh, we need to. We got a lot of stuff to go over. We'll do it,